Alright, let's get this motherfucking Tuesday show started. I feel like getting high. What about you? Let's get it! Fuck that tough talk, that shit's irrelevant Saying you pop off, that shit's irrelevant If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it Fuck that tough talk, that shit's irrelevant Saying you pop off, that shit's irrelevant If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it By the way, the boy go by heist, man what up though? Heist man the foe talk that talk episode motherfucking 42. Today is Tuesday, March the 12th. Or 12th. I said 12th. 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 I don't know, man. You know how black people do. But we're gonna talk that motherfucking talk today. <clears throat> One thing I want to talk about is something I'm motherfucking mad about right now. And the thing I'm mad about right now, if anybody know me. Y'all should know I hate flies, man. I hate motherfucking insects. Not insects. Not all insects. Spiders cool. Sometimes I'm as long as they keep their distance. Ladybugs, they don't bite and shit. But Heist Man hates flies. And oh my god, I just hate flies. Like my kids, they come running in and out the house, running in and out the door. And one thing you always gonna hear me say, hey, close my door. Close my door. I say that to my kids every day. Close my door. I hate fucking flies, man. I don't like where the motherfuckers fly by your face, land on your arm, your neck, your leg, anything. I hate motherfucking flies. Um, what's that show called? Breaking Bad. Have you ever seen Breaking Bad? That's my man named um, Walter White. This nigga, he was selling dope, cooking dope, cooking. Well, was not dope, but um, crystal meth. He was cooking crystal meth. Well, it's dope, so fuck it. He was cooking crystal meth and he had his lab and shit he was cooking dope in. And it shit, um, he got a fly in there where he was cooking his, you know, cooking his dope. And he shut the whole shit down. Like, he didn't want to work no more. He didn't want to do shit until he caught that fly. And if you remember the episode of Breaking Bad when Walter White was going up against the fly, this motherfucker, them that took the whole episode to kill one fly. And me, I'm the same motherfucking way. If a fly get in my room, I'm stopping what I'm doing, man, to get this fly. And I hate fucking flies. But the reason I'm talking about flies and shit today because my kids forgot to change the fruit on the um on the kitchen table. With a dining room table. And we, you know, we put out fruit and shit to encourage our kids to eat fucking, you know, fruit. Eat healthy, you know. Instead of eating snacks all the time, you know sugar and chocolate and cupcakes and cookies and shit we put fruit on our table you know and this last past week these little fuckers ate some of the fruit didn't eat all the fruit you know they usually eat all the fruit but one of the kids i ain't gonna say nobody name malia she didn't fucking change the fruit so gnats came around the fruit bowl <coughs> and one of the motherfuckers landed on me man so I hate fucking gnats and flies and shit, man. I hate, I, uh, I hate them. Get the fuck away from me. I don't want to see them shits, man. I hate fucking fruit flies and I hate regular flies. Niggas and flies, what I despise. The more I'm around niggas, the more I like. <laughs> <coughs> I couldn't even finish it. The more I like flies. Some shit like that, man. But, um, this is my little rant, man, because I hate flies earlier this morning. But we finna get into talk that talk. We're gonna talk about Zion Williams winning a motherfucking ACC player of the year. Uh, I don't really want to talk about that. I'm a big Duke fan and Zion Williams played for Duke, but I don't like these one and two year um college players, man. I, I think like come on man. If you go to college, stay there. Do at least three years, man. I hate this new one and done rule, man. I'm a big Duke fan, and we never had those one-and-done players. We had motherfuckers that stayed there three, four years, you know, then went to the NBA. In the past, like, ten years now, we've been getting a whole motherfucking bunch of first-round draft picks, you know. Like, uh, what do you call them? Freshmen. First-year players, man. They do one year, and they out the motherfucking game, man. I hate that shit, man. It's like, 
we could have had some of the best teams for like I say at least ten years straight right now. If motherfuckers stay at least three years or even two. Everybody from Kyrie Irving to fucking who else? Austin Rivers. I'm sorry, name Brandon Ingram. Name all these one year players, man. Jaleel Okafor. What's that damn Parker dude name? I just hate these. I don't even remember these niggas' names sometimes, man, because they be doing one year and, and they leaving. And that's what I hate, man. So I'm a big Duke fan of Zion Williams and all that shit, but um, fuck you, man. Because you're going to be leaving us pretty soon, man. I don't consider them real Duke players. First of all, I don't consider no Duke players. When you got hairstyles like these niggas be having now, they're not real Duke players, man. Duke players are clean cut dudes, man. They. I think they lowered the criteria for these motherfuckers to go to their school or something, man. Because we had some... Duke is a fucking, um... It ain't an Ivy League school, but it's a step down from it. Duke, um, Duke Stanford, shit like that. <coughs> so... <coughs> fuck that. Oh, Conor McGregor got arrested for assault. Took a dude's cell phone and smashed him. Conor McGregor. Doing some Conor McGregor shit. Don't be surprised. Um, I don't know what, why is this news. That's what he do. He fight people, fuck up people. So this shouldn't be news. Oh yeah, March Madness coming up. I probably kind of spoke on that a little bit. March Madness coming up. I love March Madness. I uh, can't wait to Monday so I can go get my bracket from the motherfucking store. Um, what do you call it? The newspaper. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about my little coughing fit. Y'all know me. Um, yeah. Let me get my bracket to fill that shit out. Hope Duke win it all. It don't look like it because you know, some pussies on our team. They want to blow out shoes and shit, but fuck Zion, man. I don't like him like that. It's a big-ass dude, though. Ooh, what else in the news? Ooh, Russell Westbrook. Oh, shit, I seen this on the damn on ESPN last night. Russell Westbrook, isn't it? Man. <coughs> yeah, they're trying to fight motherfucking fans and shit. Some um, the dude said, <coughs> "Get on your knees like you used to." That's what the damn dude named Shane Kiesel. That's how I think that's his name, Shane Kiesel. Trying to fight Westbrook, man. He talking all that shit on the sideline. And um, Russell Westbrook, he get into it with these dudes all the fucking time over there in Utah. So he getting two of these dudes all the time. Not the same guys, but there's something about these white men over there that like to talk shit against this nigga. So he always getting into fights with him. But he told this motherfucker, I'll fuck you up and your wife. <laughs> ah, Russell Westbrook this Russell Westbrook is crazy. So big shout out to Russell Westbrook, man. He a real gangster, man. Y'all need y'all need to leave that man alone, man. He dressed weird and wearing them tight ass pants and them colorful ass shirts, but he a fucking savage, man. And it's gonna take somebody to fucking run up into them stands and start fucking these motherfuckers up before they get the hint, man. You can't say what you want to say to these people, man. You can say what you can say what the fuck you want to, but you gotta deal with the consequences, man. So that's some bullshit, though. But y'all leave Russell Westbrook alone, man. We gonna get into some motherfucking March 12th birthdays because today is March the 12th. I said 12th. There ain't an E L V in 12. Yes, it is 12. Uh, 12th. Today is March the 12th. Okay. Liza Minnelli, her birthday today. All right. Um, Ron Jeremy. What? Ron Jeremy. That's a nasty looking porn star, man. I don't see how people giving that dude some ass, man. Ron Jeremy, porn star. His birthday today. Mitt Romney. Ain't he one of them Utah Mormon motherfuckers we were just talking about? Yeah, Mitt Romney. He used to be a presidential candidate. Hey, I... He should have been president by looks alone, you know? We ain't had a good white man president in a long time, man. Like, to look like a fucking president. We ain't had one since, like, Bill Clinton and... Who else? Kennedy. I think Al Gore would have been a good president. Mitt Romney, even though I don't believe in the shit he believed in, he looked like a fucking president. Donald Trump don't look like a president. Um, Bernie Sanders, he who the fuck? Yeah, he do. He looked like the president from back in the old days, man. So I don't know, man. But Mitt Romney, he, sh he should have been president just by off looks alone to me. Um, Aaron Eckhart, today is his birthday also. 
Yeah, if y'all don't know who Aaron Eckhart is, he's the um, Two Face from um, the Batman with the Joker in it. Not Tommy Lee Jones off the, the cartoon looking one. The um, the Dark Knight. Ooh, Christina Grimmy. Oh, that's the chick that got shot. Oh, shit. Today her birthday? Sad, sad, but too fucking bad. Damn, Christina Grimmy. You got pop. Um, Kenta Kobayashi, a.k.a. Hideo Itami. Today is his birthday. It is also Billy Thomas' birthday. If y'all don't know who Billy Thomas is, y'all probably don't, but Billy Thomas played the character Buck Wheat off the original Little Rascals in black and white. The little black kid with the fucked up head, hair and shit. Oh, Tay. <coughs> and today is crack smoking ass Daryl Strawberry birthday. <laughs> Daryl Strawberry used to get fucked up. Crackheads. I'm going to do a top 10 crackhead list. Oh yeah, all right. Um, Hulu launched today on this day, um, March twelfth, two thousand eight. Hulu, y'all got a Hulu um subscription? It, it came out today. In nineteen eighty, John Wayne Gacy found guilty of murder. Thirty three people in Chicago. <coughs> in nineteen eighty seven, Les Misérables debuted on Broadway. Yeah. 1894, Coca-Cola sold its first soap for the first time in Vicksburg, um, Vicksburg, Mississippi. And in 1912, the Girl Guide, aka the Girl Scouts, was formed by Juliet Gordon Lowe. And that's all your news for March the 12th. Um, it's that time of the motherfucking episode when we inhale and we exit and we release the motherfucking toxins of the nigga. So on the count of three, with me, we're going to do this. We're going to breathe in. We're going to breathe out. Inhale, exhale, nigga. Here we go. One, two, three. Nigga. Get that shit out, nigga. Get the nigga out. What else I want to talk about? Um, What's the, what's the um, chick name, man? Um, Jenny from the block. What's the chick name, man? Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez. She fucking um got engaged by um not by, but she got engaged to the um the homie A Rod, who been fucking up his damn baseball career by doing steroids. But that's either no hit, no say, whatever. La da da. I mean, he been found guilty, so it ain't no here to say is he got found guilty. He did it. He admitted to it. But he he got um engaged to Jennifer Lopez, and um I seen some hating ass shit from Jose Canseco. Jose Canseco gonna tweet out some shit saying, "Hey, Rod, you need to quit cheating on her. You're a scumbag. Some shit like that. I don't know the exact words, but that's the gist of it. Like, come on, man. You a hating ass nigga. For you to come out, you to go out your way, pull your cell phone out your pocket and type and tag A Rod in it. Like, yo, you need to quit cheating on your girl. On the day he, you know, proposed to his bitch. So Jose Canseco, whole ass nigga of the week." Um, okay. What else we want to talk about? Uh, LBJ versus Michael Jordan. Yeah, that ain't nothing to talk about. Michael Jordan played against fucking men. LeBron played against boys, man. So that is nothing to talk about. <coughs> <coughs> when Michael Jordan played against dude, they had motherfucking gold chains on still. And nappy ass hair and taco meat and jerry curls and big ass mustaches and shit. <coughs> LeBron not playing against niggas like that. They got colorful hair and tattoos and shit. So it's not the same thing. There's no debate. Michael Jordan is better than LeBron. Kobe Bryant is better than LeBron to me also. So fuck the haters. Um, Will Smith wants to play Venus and Serena Williams' dad in a movie. But Twitter drug him saying he is too light to play that nigga. Ain't that some shit? Like you get one of the top actors wanting to play a role of some prominent sisters, you know, the father of some prominent sisters. So, Will Smith wanting to play Venus and Serena's daddy. And the black people come out, you too light to play him. You too light skinned to play. Like, come on, man. Let that man get that paper. Y'all some haters. It's the Book of the Crab Syndrome. Y'all never heard of the Book of the Crab Syndrome. That's what a lot of niggas got. Black people got the Book of the Crab Syndrome. If them motherfucking crabs will just chill out, one crab can get out. Another crab can get out, but no. 
Them motherfuckers will claw each other down. Soon as seen that nigga trying to get to the top. Oh, let me go and pull his leg. He not getting out. Nope, 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 nope. Bucket of crab syndrome, niggas. The lay motif of black people. All right. Um. What else? Oh, YBN Almighty J got stomped the fuck out. YBN Almighty J is a a rapper. Um, he's 19 years old. Heard he used to go with um, what's the chick name? Black China. I have heard none of his music. I don't know what this dude do. I don't know how it sound. But I seen some footage of him getting beat the fuck up by like seven little kids his age. You know, them look like some little niggas. Everybody was little niggas. He got beat the fuck up, man. And that's like, goddamn, man. Something need to happen. Not the um to the people who did it, but something gotta happen for these motherfucking stars to keep getting fucked up like that. Like, come on, man. Y'all ain't got no security. Or matter of fact, y'all ain't packing no pistol or nothing. Y'all talk like rappers. I think every rapper should come with a gun. You know, if you're going to rap about some rap shit, some thug life, see me on the block, cha -cha 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 some shit, have a gun with you, you know, or something. Y'all getting beat the fuck up. I'm not going to be a rapper get beat the fuck up. Y'all can hear about me in jail like, yo, six motherfuckers try to jump the rapper heist, man. He shot two of them. Some shit like that. Especially if it was my life against your life. And I'm a bomb first, please. You know? I don't know, man. So, YB in Almighty J. Um, you went Almighty that day. So, you need to relax, man. You need to damn go do gospel music. You need to get you a new entourage, a new group. Learn some karate or something. I heard Jay Prince involved now, you know. If anybody know Jay Prince, he the um, co-founder rapper lot records and all that <coughs> gangsta motherfucker from texas somebody y'all need not to be fucking with so hey i don't know but why be an almighty j um sorry for you brother all right that's my motherfucking list <coughs> we was talking about dear strawberry that's how i want to do a motherfucking um top 10 crackhead list and that's what I'm about to do. The top 10 crackheads. Fictional or non-fiction. I'm going to do fictional. Well, no, no, no. Non-fiction mean real. So fiction mean fake. I don't understand that, man. I get it. That's what I'm saying. I'm non-fiction. I keep it real. I keep it non-fiction here on Talk That Talk. And we keep it real on the motherfucking Ray Rollins Network every Thursday at 11 o'clock p.m. on YouTube. But anyway. So here we go. Top 10 crackheads. Number 10 is cricket. If anybody watch Always Philly and Sin Always Philly and Sunny Duff. If anybody watch Always Sunny in Philadelphia, you know who cricket is. Cricket a crackhead motherfucker. Pretty funny. Do some shit, but hey. Top 10 crackhead. Cricket. Number 10. All right. Number 9 is Smokey from the PJs. If anybody watched the show with the PJs, it was clay animation back in the days. Um I think it was the late 90s or the early 2000s, but it was a um, Eddie Murphy venture, you know? He was third good. He was a super. Super, you know? But it was a crackhead on there named Smokey. Ugly motherfucker. Look him up, man. Smokey from the PJs. Number eight is Dope Fiend Willie. Dope Fiend Willie? Oh, my God. He played in that movie, I'm Bout It Bout It. Um... He used to wear a big ass fur coat and a motherfucking wig and glasses. No shirt on with the fur coat. Look crazy. Dope Fiend Willie, number eight. Yeah, to look so many people up, man. <coughs> number seven is Bubbles from The Wire. If anybody remember The Wire, watch out for Bubbles, man. He was a snitch ass motherfucker. He's put that red hat on top of you. And the motherfucking feds be taking pictures like, oh, he the dope boy. Oh, yeah. Bubbles from The Wire. Number six is Felicia from Friday. Bye, Felicia. Craig, can I borrow y'all BCR? It's the Mac. She wanted to dub the Mac, you know. Craig could have got that money from his bitch, too, man. You know, he's about to get the money. What you gonna do for me? Y'all remember that movie Friday, man? He's finna get the damn $200, man. She's finna give it to him, his girlfriend, but the damn crackhead Felicia came up running. Trying to ask him for money, you know. So, number six is Felicia. <coughs> Damn, I'm sorry. I'm coughing a lot today. Number five is Ezel, also from Friday. 
give me two dollars. I cleaned all this shit up for you. Remember that? Um, uh, my neck and my back. That crackhead from Friday. AJ Johnson. Easy. Um, okay, that's number five. Number four is Gator. Gator played in um what is it, Jungle Fever? Yeah. He played in Jungle Fever. Um Gator is uh what's my man name? Samuel L. Jackson. Um Samuel L. Jackson played in Jungle Fever. And it was one of Holly Berry's first roles. I think it was her first role when she played. Um Holly Berry was um Samuel L. Jackson, crackhead girlfriend. They both was crackheads and um he stole his mama TV. And she's talking about some Gator. What happened to my TV? He said, I smoked the TV, mama. <laughs> so fucking funny to me. But Gator is another um number four in the top ten crackheads. Well, I'm gonna get in trouble for this list, man. They like, what the fuck is he doing the top ten crackhead list? Hey, this shit is hey, it's crackheads. Number three is um Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, number three is um Frank Gallagher. Frank Gallagher is um the second white person on this list also. Huh. Number ten was cricket, and number three is Frank Gallagher. If anybody who's seen the show Shameless to come on with eight showtime, it's the father of all these kids. But Frank Gallagher is a crackhead motherfucker, do the most, do the he drank, smoke, any drug you want to do, any scheme, hair brain scheme you want, man, look up Frank Gallagher. He plays on Shameless. Good show also. Number two is Tyrone Biggums. Anybody know Tyrone Biggums is from um, Dave Chappelle, the red hat? He said, mmm, peanut butter and crack sandwich. <laughs> I love that shit. Tyrone Biggums, man. He, um, hi, kids. When he went to their kids and shit, he was sitting there telling them kids how to um get buy weed and drugs and shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Tyrone Biggums. And the number one crackhead for the top ten crackheads is Pookie. Y'all remember Pookie from New Jack City? That was my guy, man. He said, that shit is be calling me, man. It be calling me. Pookie was a motherfucking crackhead from the beginning of motherfucking um, New Jack City. I see chase him down, shot him in the leg. He became a motherfucking crackhead. He tried to um, give him rehab and shit. He gave him the rehab. He sent him back into the motherfucking Carter, which was Nino Brown's fucking drug laboratory. He started working for Nino Brown, and he couldn't handle all that crack, man. He was like, man, fuck that. I'm going to steal me a piece of this crack. He stole him a piece of that crack, smoked it, went back to work, got killed. So, that's the top 10 motherfucking crackheads. But we have some honorable motherfucking mentions. All those guys are fictional guys. Now we're going to get into some real crackheads. Um, Eddie Kane from the Five Heartbeats, he was a crackhead. David Ruffin from the Temptations, he was a crackhead. Marion Barry, the mayor of motherfucking Washington, D.C., was a crackhead. And last but not least, the non fictional crackhead that everybody love and know, DMX. Get at me, dog. DMX was a crack smoking motherfucker and always have been and always will be. But, I sound like I'm gonna crack with these damn Newports I be smoking, man. I gotta change my life. Woo. But this has been motherfucking talk that talk episode motherfucking forty two. Fuck with your boy Heist Man every Thursday on the Ray Rollins Network. Come fuck with your homie. Um, man, you can go watch the motherfucking D Rail, and you can go watch the motherfucking Joe Cronin show, and you can watch the motherfucking Foul Mouth Network every Wednesday, motherfucking Saturday. You know. Some good ass shit to watch on TV. Man. Well, not on TV, but YouTube. So, I got some shit to watch, man. Fuck with me, man. Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Episode 42. Peace.